G'day members, Jake here from my uh, kitchen, dining room. Uh, just pretty wet outside today, so I thought I'd touch on Matt's drill that he did at the start of the, the emails that we were sending out, uh, where he was talking about a lot of the members get this trail um, traveling away from their body. So I've got a good drill for you to try at home if you've got a wall or you know em empty wall somewhere. I've got a seven iron here with a wood cover on it. You can use a sock or something just to protect your wall. So if we set up, Set up with our bum up against the wall and we take our back swing. What I want you to do is rest the wood cover or the sock on the wall. Now, if this trail arm goes away from our body, you can see the club head comes away from the wall to start off with. So what we can do is if this trail arm works down close to our body, the club or the sock and the wood cover actually stay on the wall early and then we can rotate through. So if this trail arm gets away from our body, you can see the club head leaves the wall straight away. So a good drill, as I said, take your back swing, get into the set up position, and then just feel like that starty down swing, we're keeping that club head on the wall. So this is a good drill to stop, again, talking about what Matt was talking about, that trail arm getting away from your body. We wanna keep that connected on the way down, and then we can rotate through. So it's a good drill, again, no ball needed. You can just use this at home and um, yeah, hopefully this helps for those who slice the ball a lot. So we'll see you soon, guys.